What's going on, everybody? This is Mike over here at Therapy Sites, your website marketing team. Um, cool. Okay, so we just finished um, videos number one through four of the social media series. Uh, we covered how to set up your Facebook account, how to set up your YouTube account, how to set up your Twitter account. Uh, we also discussed how you actually can simultaneously update both your Twitter and Facebook statuses from just one single account simultaneously. Um, cool, but video number five um, is going to address a very popular question that we've also been getting a lot lately, which is how do you actually add a Facebook icon on your website? How do you add a Twitter icon on your website? So to do that, it's very simple. I'm going to show you in three easy steps what you need to do to actually embed your Facebook icon, um, a clickable Facebook and or Twitter icon that will actually go to your website uh, business page or your Twitter page, right? Uh, so to do that, let's first, the first step is let's go to niftybuttons.com. Um, Nifty Buttons is a really cool little tool. Um, first of all, let's just discuss the mission at hand. What we're trying to do is we want to put a Facebook or a Twitter button somewhere right here, or we can put it here, right? So this is our website, and somewhere on our website, we want to put a Facebook and or Twitter icon. To do that, you're going to want to go to, um, and there's a lot of these online, by the way, uh, but the one that I, I think is, is really cool is niftybuttons.com. This is just a really simple, easy-to-use buffet of social media icons. Um, you get to choose which icon that you want to use, and then um, just add the URL of your, of your business Facebook page or your Twitter account page. So this is for single buttons. This is like if you just have... A Facebook or just have a Twitter page uh, but if you have both then you want to click on button sets okay so let's click click on both Facebook and Twitter and there you go so it looks like this okay and it's gonna ask you to actually drop your URL right so or and drop your Twitter URL so you know very simply what you want to do is just grab copy and paste your exact Facebook URL. So let's go to our Facebook business page, facebook.com slash therapy sites. Okay. Obviously yours is going to be something different. Um, we're going to take this URL right here. I'm going to hit Apple C for a Mac on a PC. You're going to want to hit control C and that just copies the copies the, uh, the URL. And we're going to put it straight in here. Command V or Control V on a PC. Uh, now let's also go to our Twitter business page. So we're going to go to twitter.com slash my therapy sites. Okay, great. We want to grab this URL right here. And now let's go ahead and paste it right there. Okay. Then click Submit. Okay, and great. Um, there's the embed code. So you're going to want to grab that. You just click on it once, and then you hit Command C, or again on a PC, Control C, right? Uh, and we're going to want to paste that into your website. So to paste it on your website so that the icon actually appears, it's really simple. You want to log in to your control editing panel for your website. And to do that, you guys know how to log into your control panel. You're going to want to go to therapysites.com. Click on Member Login to log into the back door of your site. I'm actually already logged in, so I don't need to do that. Um, but that's how you log in, right? Um, and now we want to actually embed that code on the home page. So let's click there. Okay, so to embed the code on the home page, you don't want to drop the code right here. You actually want to drop it in something called Source, okay? Uh, so source is where we give you access to a lot of um, our internal code for the website. So you can kind of tinker around with things just a little bit more. Uh, it gives you a little bit more creative control of the website too. So let's click on source. Okay, let's enter off to, you know, a couple spaces down. And now let's click, let's just paste the code right there. Okay, so great. We have it right there. Now let's click save. And now let's see what it looks like. Okay, boom, and there it is. Okay, so, and of course, you can change the formatting if you want to, you know, clear that gap, just remove some, some enter spaces up. 
Um, but that's what it looks like right there, your Facebook and Twitter icon. Now, of course, you want to make sure that it actually works. Okay, so you know, always test to make sure that your icons are going to the right link. And great, it's going straight to the to the Facebook business page. Okay, um, now let's test the Twitter one. Great, go straight to the Twitter page, um, and that's and that by the way, guys, is exactly um, how you actually just put Facebook and social media icons on your on your website. Very simple. Now, there's also we've we've gotten a lot of questions about. Okay, so we now know how to put a Facebook and a Twitter icon, but how do you put like a like button? So. Um, Giving your clients the opportunity to like an article that you've just written or like a specific page or like one of your photo galleries is a very popular kind of um, fad that's been happening lately with Facebook is everybody you know gets the opportunity to click the like button. Allowing your clients to click the like button is a fun thing to do. I highly recommend it, especially if you've published some really awesome content or you've uploaded a video or uh, you just want them to like your um, your website at large, right? Putting a like button is very simple. You want to go to facebook.com slash plugins. So let's go there. Okay, and again, that was facebook.com slash plugins. Okay, um, and here we go. We want to click on this one. This is what we want to do. We want to actually add a like button. Okay, so it's going to ask you for the URL. So what is your Facebook business page URL? Uh, well, we already know that. That is facebook.com slash therapy sites. And now you get to actually choose the, um, you know, how it's supposed to look. Do you want it to look like this? That's called standard. This one's called box count, okay? Um, or we can choose the other box count, okay? Let's see, which one do we want to choose? I kind of like that one. That one's just very simple and clean, so let's, let's choose that one. Uh, you can choose to show faces or to not show faces. Like, for example, in the standard one, um, there you go, it shows the faces, right? Whereas if you uncheck it, it won't show the faces. It'll just show the names. Again, so let's, we don't want to go to that template. We actually want to go to the box count template. And you can change the width, um, verb to display, like or recommended. So you don't have to click like. Uh, maybe if you want to keep it, you know, a little bit more professional, you might click recommended. Um, I personally, I, I like the like. I think people cognitively relate to the word like um, much more astutely than they do to recommend. So, and again, you can change your font, color scheme, and so on. Uh, setting that up very standard, let's, let's click on Get Code. And there we have it. Um, there is the iframe code. You can ignore this one. This, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and click on the iframe code. Copy it. Let's go straight to the website. So, I want to put this like button. I think I want to put it right here. Now, I can put it anywhere on the site. Right, but I, I'm going to choose to put it right here. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my editing panel. I'm going to click on Settings and Profile, and I want to put it just right here. Let's click on Source, enter down a little bit, paste it, click Save. There we go. Now let's click Preview my website. And there we go. We have it right there. Now, now of course, we can format that. We can center it a little bit more here. We can even justify it right. Um, but just to kind of give you a rough preview, um, there it is. And I'm going to unlike this. And right now it says like because I, I, I've already actually liked it. So, um, But when you, when you haven't liked it yet, it looks just like that. And it gives you an opportunity to click the like button. So, And this is what's really cool. When I click the like button, why is that awesome? Well, it's awesome because once people click that, that immediately gets um, blasted to your network on Facebook. So when I click on my homepage, it says right there, Mike likes therapy sites, professional service. So everybody will actually see that. They'll actually see um, that I've liked something. And, and that's what you want because you're giving everybody the opportunity to actually like 
your your business page, your website, right? Um, I hope that answered um, your question. If you guys have any more questions, um, please feel free to contact me directly. We are here to help you guys. Uh, if you need help with anything in regards to social media or marketing, call us. We're here for you. My direct line personally is 805-617-4622. Again, that's 805-617-4622. Okay, guys, best.